Yo, what up? We're at the LA Convention Center for the LA Times Travel Show. This is In The Cut. I'm Jeff Young. Let's check out what's going on inside. From sister cities around the world to exhibitors on the floor, the LA Times Travel Show has a little bit of something for everyone. Well, what are those stickers that you're passing out? Uh, well, stickers. May I have one? May I have one? Thank you, Isa. Hey guys, I'm hanging out with the Katurin Chamorro Foundation at the Guam Booth Travel Show 2014 in Los Angeles. Take it away, girls. The indigenous people are the Chamorro people. The Chamorro people, so you would be Chamorro. Yes, our language, our food is Chamorro food. That's what we get to do, uh-huh. And, and, so, and you're from Guam. Yes, we are based in Long Beach and the Katurin Chamorro Foundation. We've been around 21 years now, so. Wow. Yeah, so we preserve the language through uh, classes and dance, the culture as well, songs and, and the legends. I'm here to scare away the evil spirits. This is an absolutely fascinating mask. I've never seen anything like this. I'm going to ask my friend Simon here what the history and the mythology behind this mask is all about. Afternoon, this mask is worn by people in northeastern Romania during the winter holiday season before Christmas. They have lots of traditions, essentially old traditions. And basically they wear the mask to scare the bad spirits uh, which may affect their life for the next year. Are these masks still made today? Yes, they are made manually by uh, a number of artisans and uh, they are in big demand from both locals and foreign visitors. In 99, I started the Earthbound Expeditions. And we are also doing a lot of philanthropic activities like building schools, libraries, and hospitals in the mountains where people are less privileged. And I write a lot of articles, and I'm a small celebrity in Nepal, also doing a lot of comedy show there. <laughs> oh, wow, really? You're a celebrity in Nepal? Do a small one, yeah, yeah. But tourism is my main, main business. You know, I, I, I run hotels, yoga centers, and trekking company, Earthbound Expeditions. In Nepal, when we are welcoming people, or when we are doing the farewell. This is a Buddhist way of welcoming or, or saying goodbye. In Nepal, we consider um, three things as a god. Your parents is god, your teacher is god, and your guest is god. Atiti Devo Bhava in Sanskrit means you are god. Cruising is one of the largest trends in 2014, and Celebrity Cruises is introducing the industry's first travel avatar. Get ready to meet Lexi. What do you have to say about Celebrity Cruises this year? How would you like to enjoy unlimited wine, beer, cocktails, and oh. non-alcoholic beverages on your next Celebrity Wait, I don't think we can hear her too well. Offer featuring a complimentary classic beverage package for two, or one of several other great amenities. Now that's a great promotion. Just well, thank you so much for sharing, Lexi. You can check her out at celebritycruises.com. You're with Jeff Young in the cut. If you're passionate about bird watching, you can check out bird watching in East Africa on the website birdwatchingeastafrica.com. I took all these pictures that you can see here, wow. all of them. In Kenya, we have more than a thousand birds, and uh, we usually run a 14-day or 21-day birding trip. And for the 14 days on a lucky month, you can get to see 500 birds in just 14 days. So it's a very good trip to come to Kenya and see the birds. There are very many. What was your main inspiration for traveling around the world? I got bored. Working for Distant Lands, do they support their employees to travel as much as possible? Yeah, they're very encouraging about getting out there and traveling. Travel is the best investment you can make in yourself and you never regret it. You'll regret the stupid shiny car you bought, but you will not regret the trips that you take. We're hanging out with the guys from LA Rail. They do something really special with vintage train cars. Here hanging out with James to find out a little bit more. 
So James, tell us the, the gist of what's going on with this awesome experience. So there are five families who all restored vintage rail cars from the 1940s and the 1950s. You can sleep in these cars still. Yeah, you can. It's just like the experience in the 1950s where uh, beds pull out of the walls and the ceiling and you're actually sleeping on the train while it's moving. It's, it's really cool. Sounds like an exceptional experience for somebody that wants to be spontaneous or somebody that wants to plan a whole trip and a nostalgic train car. Tell us about Uber. It is a phenomenal, groundbreaking new service that offers travelers and people of a city to get from place to place without relying on a taxi, right? Exactly. So tell us. So what, you, what would happen is you have this app on your phone called Uber, and whenever you're ready for a ride, you basically tap into the app. There's an interactive map of all of the cars that are in the area that are available to come and pick you up and take you wherever you want to go. There are a few different tier levels based on what somebody wants to spend. Is, that, what is, is it a tier? Mm -hmm. We have a little something for everybody. It's 30% cheaper than a taxi, roughly, and then we have about 20% more than a taxi, and then 30% more than a taxi. If you don't know about Uber, download their app, Uber. It's just called Uber? It's called Uber, U-B-E-R. It's a free download in the App Store, Google Play Store. Um, yeah. Wow, what an exhausting trip. I took an Uber ride from East Africa to Romania and jumped on a train up the California coast. And now I'm just chilling on the beach in Guam with my exotic drink. I'll see you next time on In The Cut.